So as I was saying, just topple over this giant cap Mako Bear head and walk over to access the last of your Freelance Police Academy challenges. This recurring severed head motif is starting to weird me out, Sam. Ah, uh, the supermarket broke me. Oh my god. Wait, what's this? Hints. Level help? I did not notice that before. I could use that in that previous level. Fun house. Alrighty, kid. You know how these work now. Get through the obstacles as fast as you can. But this time with a flying hoverboard and a scary clown motif. Use your glove hand to steer and pull the trigger to speed up and slow down. Oh, and try not to crash. That was brilliant, Sam! <laughs> Set, go, fly! You've gone through spooky tunnels and love tunnels, but are you ready for a tunnel of fun? It's not as scary as you think it is, Sam. I was gonna say it's just another obstacle course, but at least we have a cover right now. Whoa, it really, really went all out there. Fly through all the movie groups Max picked up at the end of Act 2. I can just cheat the system and just go by the corner. The fans do not reach there, so. We're all agreed that clowns are the worst, right? Oh, yeah. Especially those perroge or what? This next bit's a little more complicated, so let me walk you through it. Catch the toys and put them on the shelf. Okay, maybe it's not that complicated. <laughs> Got you, got you. <laughs> I need Max. Yeah. Ah. Fire in the hole. Hey, no. <laughs> Geronimo. Which door? On the bottom? Sub. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> Get an S for that. <laughs> oh, here comes 
Hey, why did I shooting me? Long. I don't know how I feel about those mini games, you know. They're basic, but then some just wrap in the difficulty that you really have to think or just have to spend a lot of time on. And it's not like it's rewarding. Because I enjoy the most so far. Mission with a coverboard guy. But the rest is kinda underwhelming. It's like it's not translating as well as Trover would. Or was that a burrito dream? For like someone that had no idea about the franchise before. And now, law and order. Just get one of these valuable dolls or action figures out of there, and we can call it a day. Or I'm taking Max. Oh. Okay, well, send me this. <laughs> the final obstacle course with flying colors and swimming sounds freelance sky patrol welcome to the freelance sky patrol challenge cadet as you can see we filled your sky bucket with hundreds of balloons filled with dyed water as your bucket gently floats over the confines of the freelance police academy you'll see that we place targets of varying difficulty all over the place your task is to rain death from above <laughs> pretty much you'll get points for every hit multipliers for streaks you know the usual rigmarole How does this translate to the police? Show for the blind. So good, cadet. But now the challenge is a bit harder. And three. More? Hey, so it. Wake up. Hey. You might want to knock that down. 
Asshole. Okay, well, it's boring. I'm gonna fast forward. <laughs> Incoming! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, Splattered Cadet, you passed the Freelance Sky Patrol Challenge. You might want to get that rash checked out, though. We're not really sure what those balloons were filled with. Oh, <sighs> Monster Whispering. Okay, that's gonna be like the last. What was that? <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, have we got a surprise for you! Max isn't kidding, champ. Remember that big worm thingy from the thrilling prologue? He's in the Ocarina tank! We're keeping it here to study its origins, and to see how well mysterious monsters bow to your powers of persuasion. Such as they are. What is this? Dragon Slaughter. A VR experience coming soon. I don't think that's gonna unlock after this. So is it like a DLC or something? Beats me at this point. You'd be surprised how often a freelance police officer's job involves bonding with brainless <laughs> animals. I've been doing it for decades. We've been secretly training Jeff. The giant planarian worm from earlier today. To respond to simple sounds so that he might one day become a useful member of society. Like an emotional support animal or a minesweeper. When the music starts, your job is to clear away all the props using the associated trick. We'll be judging you on how well you make Jeff jump through hoops, bounce balls, ring bells. You know, all the stuff that makes an animal's life worth living. If he gets grumpy or tired, you can pet him and give him treats. That's what I always do with Sam. On with the show. Okay. Uh-huh. Get Jeff to do a water walk. Don't just stand there. Get soothing. Oh, he's happy again. Oh, an aqua uh -huh. I haven't seen a giant hell beast walk on water like that since Descartelli in the 96 Olympics. Did we ever find out where Jeff came from? You mean besides our ancestral genetic nightmares? This menu just disappears Ooh. when I move. Get Jeff to jump through one of those hoops. I think Jeff's getting too sad for showing shit, Sam. Better feed him some fish, kid. Eat. Jeff sure does love his fish. And cats and squirrels and pigeons and third graders and... You know, part of me wonders if this outsized rabditophrodite isn't part of a larger conspiracy. Shut up and enjoy the show, Sam. Good job, kid. Have your people call my people. We'll get you booked at the Apollo. That was a spectacular show, kid. I laughed, I cried, I took my medication to even out my mood swings. Ah, <sighs> full report card. Sweet suffering salamanders, cadet. You pass the final challenge. Are you sure? I want to see if Lumpy can pass my Dodge Medical Waste Blindfolded test. Give it a rest, Max. It's time to get this kid graduated and out on patrol. Finally.